Hey everyone, uh, welcome to uh, the Humble Reading Big Idea Numero 2. Uh, this time we're going to talk about pages uh, 240 to 247 if you're in the Old Humble Book and 191 to 197 if you're in New Humble. As I go there now, uh, Humble starts off with the process that we learned a little bit about in the last video. So. Four steps more or less, you start with a question and notice how uh, he says it has to be debatable. I've like highlighted this a couple of times through the years. Uh, it's blue and pink and underlined. That question should be debatable. Otherwise, why are you asking and trying to answer a question that's not debatable? The second thing you should think about, of course, is the evidence, uh, gather and consider it. And then step number three is about uh, deciding uh, on that evidence based on what you saw within that time frame. And then step number four has to be about presenting those uh, ideas that you thought about, you researched to others in the form of a paper. That's our four step process. Now, one of the things that Humble talks about within this framework, and he mentions it on the next page, he talks about to not be a knucklehead. And I want to explain that in a little bit more detail. Uh, in this case, what Humble is really, oh, I'm sorry, I'll frame. In this case, what Humble is really talking about is about students who are cutting corners. And I'm getting my iPad out to show you all something one of my students drew on one of the little half sheets uh, that they that we used to do way back in the day. And it's this amazing drawing of a, of a figure with a head that's a knuckle, knucklehead. More or less, Humble's talking about uh, not cutting corners, as I mentioned. So whatever your process is, be honest about it. And I think that's super important. Being honest as you move through the process, thinking about a question that you want to answer, that you find is interesting. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to sort of get into it. Um, and it's just going to be a chore. And students tell me all the time that uh, when subjects work for them is they have some level of buy-in. So that's important. Find your buy-in with a really good question and uh, don't be uh, a knucklehead. Oh, that didn't work. Don't be a knucklehead. Yeah, don't be a knucklehead. Now, of course, there's a humble reading journal that you're gonna do uh, in Blackboard and out, so I'm not gonna talk about that part here. What I do wanna do is go to the very end of the book here um, and get to that almost the very last paragraph where uh, I've got some notes that I would talk about in class about the business of wondering and stretching yourself in some particular way. So here's what Humble says about wondering. Uh, do you find assignments boring? That the assignments, uh, that's not the assignment's fault. And he says, boring is as boring does, hearkening back to the old uh, Forrest Gump days. The assignment knows exactly how much fun it could be if you just use your imagination for five minutes, five minutes and stop asking what the professor is looking for. Take a closer look and let yourself wonder what uh, it's about. And then a little bit further down, he says, college is here to stretch you into something much larger and more interesting than your current self. So count on assignments that require you to look at new topics uh, about which you know little or nothing. So that's true. And then he says, and this is gonna be the last word of this humble big idea essay, don't run away from challenge. You should totally embrace it. That's all I have for Humble Big Idea Numero 2. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Peace.